I think he might be gearing up to just push out of his base right now, but yeah, uh, Yellow's coming in trying to stop that. Yellow doesn't have any Overlords in here, so Yellow is being picked off by just a single Dark Templar here. He really needs an Overlord in. But there's still no Overlords in. He loses two Lurkers to d uh, one Dark Templar. Wow, he's bringing in all of his Overlords right now, but I think the Overlords are going to be intercepted here. Oh man, Bisu. He's going in, he's committing to this, he's trying to take out every Overlord. He manages to take down almost all of them, one left, but he manages to back off. Wow, that was a lot of Overlords down. Whoa. So, I think Yellow is at 51 over 35 population right now. He's got to get some more Overlords out in the field. <laughs> oh, jeez. He might be trying to go in for an attack right now, but Bisu is amassing a ground army, so this, I think this build is actually working for him from this point. He has a ton of troops out here, so I don't think Yellow's going to be able to handle this. He doesn't have his third base. He's still stuck at two because that 10 o'clock went down rather quickly. He could not defend that. Oh, wow. The Corsair is coming in now, so I think Bisu has won this. Yellow doesn't have any troops on the ground. He has a one control group of Hydras, I think, but yeah, Bisu taking his third base. You know, this is what I've noticed about Yellow. This is what separates him from his brother. His macro sometimes is just really, really crappy. Well, I, I wouldn't say crappy. It's just very weirdly timed. He got that third base way late, I think, uh, when dealing with Bisu. I think you need a third base right away. But now Bisu's coming in with more Corsairs, just trying to stop more supply by taking out Overlords. He's looking around, but he's not going to find any down there. Bisu picking at a lurker that's trying to morph down here. So this little harassment from Yellow is not going to get anything done. And he cancels the lurker there. Lurker evaporating, transcending into pure energy, man. Speaking of pure energy, Archons are coming out. And here comes more gateways from Bisu. So Bisu is going to commit to a very large ground force while Yellow is still stuck at two bases. I can't believe he hasn't tried to get a third base. Well, he's tried to get a third base up, but he didn't defend it whatsoever. He needs to get another third base right now. Wow, Bisu has a ton of troops moving up the map right now. Bisu has his uh, third base down there that's going to be attacked soon, but I don't think it's going to matter too much. Bisu moving back down the map. I think he knows about this attack by now. Definitely knows about it by now. He puts down some pylons to keep uh, the troops from coming in, but that didn't last too long. Running all of his probes away, but I still think he's economically ahead. Uh, Protoss is at two bases are uh, economically ahead of a Zerg that's only at two bases. And look, and Yellow didn't have that third base running for long. He's going to take out this Nexus, so it's definitely going to put Bisu a little bit behind. But Bisu, well, if Bisu tries to tackle this army down here, I don't think it'll work out too well for him, but he's going down anyway. Well, he's backing off now, I think. Whoa, Bisu, that indecision cost him a few Zealots right there. Uh, trying to go down there with all those lurkers, that's just probably not the, really the situation you want to be in. He's brought some observers in now, and he's storming all over the place. Now that he has High Templar out, I don't think Yellow's really going to be able to take him down. Although Yellow's moving a troop down the map right now. I see Green Blob going down the map right now. Teal Blob, rather, of troops. So Yellow, if he can get this done right, if he can pick off those High Templar, I think he might be able to take this Bisu coming in. Bisu is backing off. I'm not sure what Bisu's doing really. He's kind of hanging around looking for the right opportunity to strike, I think. He's going around with a zealot just scouting around looking for another third base, but he knows that yellow... Oh, a nice storm! He knows yellow is at two bases still because he's been scouting with a zealot that whole, whole time. Shoo, this is looking bad for yellow. He has to get the job done with this one attack right here. And Bisu's troops are a little bit out of position, but he has high Templar in here. And that's the single High Templar, there's three High Templar, are probably going to be able to defend his front. Because Bisu is just great with storms. He storms down there. Another couple of storms. Yellow running right into the storms here. So Yellow is being evaporated. His Hydra is bursting into red little gushers or something. And <laughs> yeah, Bisu's coming down, storming. Finally getting rid of this troop behind his base. Yellow is trying to go in again and get the job done here. Another storm. Oh, Yellow just backs right into that storm. He can't dodge these for whatever reason. Yet Bisu he has another High Templar, but I think that High Templar is out of storm. Definitely out of storm now that it's dead. But Bisu is moving up the map once again. And Yellow is picking off a few troops there. 
And Yellow's still at two bases, I believe. He's getting his third, so he's going to try to keep that third. But again, I think it was a little bit late. Bisu has an, a massive ground army right now. And uh, I think they're very heavily upgraded as well. Corsair is coming in here. So Bisu is splitting uh, the attention of Yellow. Once again, bringing Corsairs at the exact same time to pick off those overlords. Wow. So yeah, I think Bisu definitely has the advantage here. And yeah, definitely has 103 population and Yellow has 41 right now. So Bisu is, has an insanely uh, lopsided army right now. He has way more troops. And now he's going to go in to end it. He's pushing into the natural with what he has. And it looks like his uh, little build, build here sorry, has worked out for him. And it looks like we're going to see a three-way tie for the second spot to move out of here. I was hoping for this because I wanted to see Stork and July and Yellow all fight each other again because that's going to be epic. Epic, epic, epic. Bisu has won this game. There's no way Yellow can get back from this point. He has a new base coming in at the inside 11 o'clock, but he lost his natural and he's going to lose his main very, very soon. Bisu coming in here with some high Templar. Storming again over all of those remaining Hydras. Bringing in High Templar. I sense a storm here. I think Bisu might try to storm all these drones. Yeah, he's bringing in all of his High Templar. Oh, geez. Massive storm over the drone line. Whoa. GG. From Yellow. Well, Yellow, you got owned there a little bit. Just a little bit. So we are going to see that three-way round-robin tie for the second place. And I am super excited because I was hoping that would happen. And Bisu 3 owing his group. That He's the first person to do that, I think, in this OSL. We'll see if Jadong manages to do it a little bit later. But yeah, Bisu showing complete authority in this group. Absolutely crazy. This has been Nuke. I'm going to move on to Group B.